Hey guys, it's Joy here and today I'm going to be telling you how to make a online store from scratch with Shopify. I'm going to be breaking that into three main phases that we are going to call the setup, the build up, and the cleanup. I'm so excited for this video because it is actually sponsored by Shopify. You all have been following my journey of starting my hair care business, Joyful Bee, and it makes so much sense because Joyful Bee is actually hosted on Shopify. And you've seen me have so much success using Shopify as a platform to make online sales. After you watch this video, you will know how to set up your store so you are ready for a successful launch on Shopify. And you will also get a link to a 14 day free trial so you can check out Shopify and see if it's right for you. So let's get started. So the first stage of getting your store ready is what we're calling the setup. You will need to go to the landing page where you will get your 14 day free trial. I'm super excited because I actually have a custom landing page where it has some photos, some information about my story as an entrepreneur, and everything you need to get started with your trial. The link is in the description box so that you can get started. So once you enter all of your information like your name, email, and your store name, you will actually get access to the Shopify dashboard, which is the back end of your store where you can make all of your edits and changes. So the first thing I like to do when I start a new site is actually make sure that I own the name of the site that I want to work with. So that is called buying a domain name. Thanks to Shopify, you can easily get a domain name for around $14, depending on the popularity of that domain. And you can just search the name that you want. You can get a .com, a .net, whatever you want, you can search and see if it's available. This is so important at the beginning because you don't wanna make a whole store or business and then realize someone else has that name taken already. So next, you can think about how you want your website to actually look. The look and feel actually is called a theme and themes are basically a template of how your website will look, the features it will have and things like that. So your website will actually come with a default theme. So look around at it and see if you actually like how that looks for your website. But if that doesn't fit your aesthetic, Shopify actually has a theme store and library where you can browse free themes or you can browse paid themes and you can find what works for you. So once you have a theme, you can actually preview the theme and look around at the elements that are there to see if they fit what you're looking for. All of the elements can be moved around, edited, and even if you know code, you can go in and change some things as well. That is totally not needed. Everything is super easy, drag and drop, intuitive, and super fun also. So after you have a theme, you should have a better idea of what you need to prepare your website for launch. So this is where you really want to make a plan so you can go away from your website and actually get the assets you need. So do you need certain photos for your homepage or product pages? Do you need text elements? Do you need videos? Write down a list of all the things that you want to have on your website that plug into the theme you picked so that each section will be filled with that element that you need. Another important element is a logo. Um, there's always sections for logos on your Shopify theme. So if you don't have a logo, you can actually use Shopify's free logo generator where you can type in different elements about your business like the name, the niche, etc. and it it will generate logos for you to pick from that you can then download and place in different areas of your website. So that is everything for phase one. Next is phase two, which we're gonna call the build up. So once you start to piece together your site and you get a little bit excited, it's now time to build up the more administrative settings on your site so that when you launch, everything is in place so that you can collect payments and all of that good stuff. In the settings, you can set up your payment and shipping information, which is super important when you're going to be collecting your coins and also making sure your customers get the right products on time with the shipping carrier you choose. A couple of other pages you should consider having on your website are an about page, a contact page, 
policy pages like terms and returns and all of those things are great to have on your website and some of those are actually legally required. Shopify actually has templates for terms pages and privacy policy pages so that you can just plug in your business information into something that's already pre-built. So that's super helpful for just getting things set up quickly. One of the most important parts of the build up phase is actually setting up your product pages. So this is where the actual items that you will are going to live on your site. Product pages take a lot of time because they are your one chance to convince your customer why they need to buy your product. My number one advice for product pages is to make sure you thoroughly showcase the features and the benefits of the product you're selling with strong visuals and strong copy. So get excited because there's only one more phase left. If you've been enjoying this video so far, please make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because I make tons of videos like this about establishing your store and building your brand. So the final phase is phase three, which we're gonna call the cleanup. This is where you're gonna add more complex elements to your website to make sure that it is launch ready. Have you ever been to a website and saw different cool elements like pop-ups or reviews or just different things that caught your eye that made you wanna buy? Many times those elements are not part of your theme. They're actually an app or plugin that you have to add to your store to make those things work. So Shopify has an app store, just like your phone has an app store, but this is for your site, with so many different ways that you can build on top of the theme you already have. I like using apps for reviews, for email marketing, I like using apps for countdowns and different things like that. So explore the app store. If you ever on a website and you're shopping, you're like, I like that, you can always just go to the Shopify app store and search and see if you can find what app that that person was using. Before you launch your store, you actually wanna make sure you know how to fulfill the orders that you're getting properly. You don't wanna get an order and not know how to you know, send it out and all of that stuff. One thing I love about Shopify is you can easily buy and print shipping labels with any carrier you wanna use, like USPS or UPS, and your packages can even be picked up at your house. I've used this a few times when I had really big orders to go out where I just set up the UPS pickup and the UPS truck came to my house and picked up the boxes that already had the labels that I printed from Shopify. And the labels are discounted, so it's gonna be a lot more affordable than taking your packages to UPS or the post office and buying the labels there. If you wanna learn in more detail how I pack and fulfill orders, I actually have a video where I walk you through every step, including what label printer I use, how we actually fulfill the orders and drop them off at UPS. So lastly, you should know how to gauge how your store is actually doing well once you launch and start getting orders. You need to really know if your store is successful or not based on numbers, not based on your personal opinion. So you can use the analytics tab to see robust analytics about your store performance. You can see your site visitors and sessions. You can see your conversion rates. You can see what states and cities your customers are coming from. There are so many different reports that you can pull to help you make better decisions on your store. You can look at your top selling items and make inventory decisions. You can look at your profit. All of that stuff is there and easy to just look at instead of having to crunch numbers manually by yourself. I would say if this is really overwhelming for you, one of the most important things to look at is conversion rate. Conversion rate is the percentage of people that actually buy compared to the number of visitors. So an average, I would say is probably one to 3%, 3% being really good, anything over 3% being amazing but basically that means if you have a hundred people come to your site you can expect one to three people to buy and that's something that's really important to know because you figure out how many people actually have to come to your site to meet your sales goals one more feature I wanted to point out before you wrap up the video is something that you're going to want to use once you launch your store and that is the marketing channel so you can launch marketing campaigns like email ad 
all of the things are there where you can easily do it in one place if you want to learn more about how to market your e-commerce brand i also have a video on that that i will have linked so just to recap the three phases of launching your shopify store from scratch are the setup the build up and the cleanup if you have an idea or you're ready to launch do not be scared your idea might just be the next big thing in e-commerce i think anyone can have success in e-commerce as long as they have a great product they know their audience have a great store and they know how to market and I teach you guys all of those things on my channel. My advice would be to just start. You have a 14 day free trial. That is two entire weeks where you can have your whole site built and ready to make sales before you even have to pay. You can even make a couple of sales to pay for your first month when you're ready. And once you are ready for your first month, the Shopify dashboard will prompt you to set up what subscription model you want to use and there are different benefits to each tier but just get started with that 14 day free trial and get your confidence up get your site built and get excited lastly i hope this video was helpful to you i'll be answering any questions you guys have in the comments and i hope you get excited for the next video i do in partnership with shopify we'll be diving deeper into some more strategies on how to build your first e-commerce store leave a comment down below with what type of e-commerce store you want to start and also make sure you check out these other videos that I have on building your e-commerce store. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!